Hey everyone, Zach here from Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a quick look at Windows 11 build 25281. This is the latest Windows 11 dev channel build to be released from Microsoft. It's the second one for 2023. I did try and do a video on last week's build, but the recording corrupted, so I gave up. Anyway, we're back this week. Hopefully the recording doesn't corrupt. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's not waste any time diving straight in. The first notable change with this build is that Microsoft has updated the graphics settings page within the Windows settings app. So if we scroll down here, go to graphics. This page has now been updated with a Windows 11 design and it looks pretty nice. It's functionally, it does exactly the same as before. You can enable and disable things like auto HDR if your PC supports that. You can also configure which apps use what graphics card if you have a PC with multiple graphics cards. You can see down here, for example, GPU preference, let Windows decide, which is the default option, or you can select the power saving option or the high performance option. Now on this laptop here, I only have one integrated graphics card, so that's why it's showing the same one here. But for example, if you're using a laptop like the Surface Laptop Studio, which has integrated graphics and an, a dedicated GPU, you can come in here and configure which app uses what GPU uh, which is really nice. You can also add uh, either a desktop app or a Windows Store app, which is it's still weird that they have to differentiate between these. This must be confusing to the end user who may not know the difference. Like, how do they know which app is a desktop app and a Windows Store app? Anyway, uh, there you are. That is a look at the graphics settings area in this build. Pretty nice. And then really from here, we are going to be looking at stuff that isn't hasn't been officially announced yet. Oh, I lie, actually. Before we do that, let's take a look at this up here. So Microsoft has updated this UI. They're currently running a, a few different experiments. This is the UI I have currently. Uh, so when you right-click on this icon, you get this sort of interesting design with very rounded corners. It's interesting that we have to differentiate between rounded corners and very rounded corners because it does look like Microsoft is slowly moving to this very rounded corner <laughs> design. Currently, when Windows 11 first launched, these were the rounded corners. You know, the, the, the radius on those corners is a little, you know, it's it, it's not incredibly round. It's not like iOS. Whereas up here, wow, look at the rounded corner on that. It, it's properly round there. So um, yeah, it does look like Microsoft has experimented with, with the roundness of the corners. Uh, and maybe future versions of Windows will be more round than others. But that's what this looks like. What does that do? Oh, we can change that. That's pretty cool. Anyway, what this does is give you a quick overview of the wallpaper you have currently set. Of course, we can... Um... Oh, okay. So that actually appears when you right-click anywhere on the desktop. So that replaces the right-click menu, which is shocking, actually. Is that really how they're doing that? Okay, so you can still get the old one by right-clicking up here. But anywhere else... Oh, okay, no. I guess maybe that was a bug. I don't know. So if I right-click there and then right-click over here. Okay, so... It's like it copies <laughs> whichever icon you last right clicked on. I don't know if that's a bug, uh, but it's interesting nonetheless. Uh, anyway, yes, yeah so, yeah, so it tells you about the wallpaper and I think you can even select different wallpapers here. So if I choose this, yeah, that will switch my wallpaper. And that's really nice. You can map it, see more photos, explore Angolia, uh, and then Angolia Wildlife. So you get a bunch of search suggestions down here if you are in fact interested in learning more about your particular wallpaper, which is pretty nice. Oh, this is a nice one. Let's keep that. Anyway, so that's that. Pretty fancy. Oh, the icon up here is now just gone. <laughs> it's just gone. Okay. Well, this is a little bit buggy, as you can see, but that's fine. This is previous build, so that's to be expected. Anyway, moving on to things that haven't officially been announced yet. Microsoft appears to be working on a redesign of the File Explorer. Uh, now, obviously, that kind of happened already with Windows 11's first release. Up here, they added this modern header, and then they added tabs. But the rest of it, from this point down is old school it, it's old file explorer you can find this in windows 10 and windows 8 it's not really changed much in the last handful of years uh they did add this home page which we're currently on but uh you know it's still the classic file explorer but that does appear to be changing microsoft does appear to be modernizing the rest of the interface uh, and so far we can take a look at what the the details pane is going to look like because that's the only thing that's kind of enable able enableable enableable in this build um and here's what it looks like. So it's mostly placeholder text right now. So I don't know anyone called Laura, but you can see it says, Laura changed the name from my file to my new file. Robert shared yesterday at 2.29 p.m. Tyler replied. Mona commented on October 21st. So you get a bunch of different activities here, including the, the ability to share this file and also manage access. So this will likely tie into Microsoft 365. If you're using Windows for work or Office for work, you'll be able to see your colleagues editing shared files and whatnot. If we scroll down here, you'll see that. So we also have related files. 
uh, with and related conversations. So if you received a file through an email, for example, you'll be able to see those ongoing email threads straight from here. And um, at the bottom, we have details on the file. Now this is actually working. So that these details are correct. It's a properties button, which I don't think works. Yeah, so none of these buttons are really working except the view more and view less button for some reason. Um, but what's also interesting is that because most of this is placeholder text, I was surprised to see my name here. Oh my God, they're talking with someone called Zach. Uh, sadly, it's not me. But um, hey, if you if you are the Zach they are referring to, hit me up. That'd be awesome. All right, so that's the details pane. And that's just one part of the new file explorer that they are redesigning. The rest of it is also on the cards for getting a redesign. Um, but that isn't ready yet, so we can't show it to you today. Moving on from there, Microsoft is also updating this sound output area to basically be better. Uh, lots of people complain about this because it's quite simple. Um, you'll soon be able to control uh, the volume of individual apps straight from this UI. Windows could do this before, but yet to jump into a legacy interface to do it. But now, as you can see, uh, in the modern interface, you'll be able to adjust individual apps and their volume, which uh, is pretty nice. Also, spatial audio is set to off. I'm assuming that, that will, there'll be an option to turn that on from here, assuming your PC supports it. And then, of course, you've got the different output devices, which you've always been able to choose between through here. Okay, and lastly, I just want to take a look at a couple of app updates. These aren't hidden features. These have been announced, but um, we haven't taken a look at them yet. The first one is Notepad, which just got tabs. So just like the File Explorer and indeed web browsers, uh, you can now have multiple uh, TXT files, text files, <laughs> Uh, running within this a single notepad window. So I can create a new text file just by doing that. And then another one just by doing that. And I can type into them and uh, use the app as you would expect. So that is pretty nice. And unlike File Explorer's tabs, these tabs are more advanced in that you can drag a tab out of the window and it will create a new window. And then you can drag that tab into another window to merge them. Believe it or not, <laughs> the File Explorer uh, cannot do that. If I try to do that, it just refuses because it doesn't know what to do. Clearly, they they could do it because Windows doesn't know what to do if I try to drag the, ta um, the tab around. But the File Explorer itself just does not have the capability to create and merge Windows uh, through the tab interface, at least not yet. But Notepad does. So uh, one point to Notepad. Well done, Notepad. Uh, and then lastly, again, this is not new. At this point, I've missed this boat by a long shot. But the snipping tool now has a screen recorder tool. So I can now do that. And you can select a specific area to record or you can record the entire screen like so. so I'm going to start recording. Nice. Here we go. Moving the window around. Is it recording? I guess it is. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Minimize. Recording stop. Something happened and we've stopped recording. Wait a bit and try again. If this continues, send us your feedback. We'll try it again. Is it because too fair, actually, I don't know. Start. Okay, it's working now. So if I open up that, and then open up this, and then move this around, snap that there, uh, snap this on that side, uh, minimize those, and then stop the recording. Let's see how smooth that video looks. Unsupported video type or invalid path. Can I save the video anyway? We can try. Okay, save. Let's see if that actually <laughs> saved anything. Zero bytes. It's not looking good, guys, I'll be honest. Yeah, it's, it failed. Okay, well, in theory, there's a new screen recorder in Windows. Didn't work here. Again, pre-release software. I'll give it a pass. <laughs> but, but there you are. That is a quick look at Windows 11 build 25281. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.